Hi there, crafty peeps. Enos here from Paper Crafting with Enos, and I'm on today with a Timu haul. Some of the items in this haul are from the package that was lost and Timu had to replace, and then some of them are from another smaller order that I had. So I just grouped them all together, and yeah, I hope that you like the items that you see, and if there's anything that you're interested in, be sure to drop me a note in the description box below. I will not be posting the links, but I am happy to share them. So if you let me know there's something you want, I am happy to get that information for you. So anyway, let's get right into this. So one of the things I purchased was a package of four of these little containers here. And these have 10 little compartments. I have been accumulating some small little things that I thought these would be perfect for. So yeah, I really like these. These are the same boxes that the bead kits come in from BB Craft. When you when you order a bead kit from them, they're inside of these packages. So yeah, really appreciate having those. Another little item I got here is this super cute lamb die or sheep, if you want to say sheep. We've got little bodies, their heads, little tails here. There's some extra little hearts. Um, I'm not really sure what this is. Maybe it's grass. I don't know. I'll have to put this together and see, but I thought it was a cute little die set and I thought the faces were adorable so I did pick that up and then I got this die set and embossing folder combo and this I'm hoping to use this in my fruity patootie group swap this is a fruit themed embossing folder 3d embossing folder I don't know if you can see that there yeah you can see it so I thought this would be great on either a card or maybe the inserts that you put in behind your embellishments when you package them up. So I thought that'd be fun. And then what you can do is you can cut out the pieces and actually attach them on to the cardstock if you want to. So that's a fun little set. I like having that. Then I picked up this pack of fruit slices. These are the little clay bits that you can put in your shaker mixes. So I thought that was also fun. And I have been seeing people using these lighters, and I thought this would be neat. Like when you have ribbon that you cut and you don't want it to fray, a lot of times I just use a lighter and I quickly singe the ends of the cut ribbon. I thought I'd give this a try. So you just push the button here to turn it on, and I'm going to give you a little close-up here. Then you push the button, and you see that little spark going on there? And this is chargeable by USB. So it did come with a USB cord. So I'll put that away. Then I picked up some little charms and doodads, because you know I'm addicted to those. I did get a pack of these little hearts, and recently I hauled some from AliExpress, and these are a little bit smaller than those, and the hearts are definitely smaller. But this one has got a variety of colors, where the other one was all one color, except for a rogue bead that was this about this color here. So those are fun. And then also for my Fruity Patootie group swap, I picked up these cute little cherries and they're in pink and yellow. And I just got these little squirrels because I thought they were cute. <laughs> and it did come in a pack of 10 and as well as this, but I only put a couple in my little dish here. And then I got these fuzzy charms. Now I didn't, or actually they're, they're beads. I didn't realize they were beads. I thought they were charms. But you can see they have a hole there, and it goes all the way through. So, yeah, that'll be interesting to see how they work. And they're super, super soft, and they come in a variety of colors. And the package, quite a few is in the pack. So there's browns and whites. There's peach. There's uh, black, pinks, purples, grays, tan. Here's a pretty light blue. A little bit of a red there so these are going to be fun to use be interesting to see what I come up with for those and then I picked up and here's another thing that I'm kind of addicted to getting are these bead caps once again I do use these inside of my flowers as well as on beads and uh, they're great for your pokey tools if the hole is big enough to fit through the pokey tool and the beatable pen sticks so I got a nice big pack of those and this was one of the items that was in that order that got lost. And my sister Lisa gave me a whole bunch, but this order 
they reshipped to me. So here are the page corners. So pretty. And actually, I did get these in a couple of colors. Let me see here. I got rose gold. I got this bright gold. And I don't know how often I'm going to use this, but I got this antique brass as well. So yeah, I got a bunch of packs of those. I love those. And then I got these little turtles here that I just thought were so cute and would be great for summer crafting. Look at this one here with the flowers on it. We've got pink and we've got pink and greens. So pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, let's see what else did I get here. I picked up this bag and this is a huge bag of silicon beads. And I thought these beads would be perfect for crafting with the latest KS Craft die sets. So you have these little Mickey heads come in a variety of colors. There's yellow, here's a red one. I think, let's see, another red one. Um, I thought there was a white one in here, but maybe no whites. But you see, they're all Disney type colors. So those are going to be super fun to do projects with. And it's a nice big bag. I don't remember. There has to be at least 50 silicone beads here. And the last thing that's in this, oh, actually, no, it's not. I, I forgot about this. I did pick up this mesh with the strawberries on it. And I thought this would be good for using in that Fruity Patootie Swap. And also like for wrapping packages and making bows and whatnot. And there's quite a bit on this spool. There's a lot on there. So that, oh, it's really soft too. So that's going to be fun. And then I picked up just move these out of the way a pack of the faux leather this pack is bee themed so yeah i'm hoping to do something with this for alice from my frugal wonderland swap and i gotta get moving on that so we've got this black and yellow polka dot and look at these cute bees we've got these bees with flowers look at this one with the rainbows on it so cute so cute love this one we've got a zigzag pattern we even have a glitter one, and we have stripes, a plain black. This is really cute. I love this one. I think this one's probably my favorite. And we have these cute bees on what looks like a black and white tablecloth, and these cute bees. And then we have a plain yellowish one. So that's it. That is my combined Timu haul with all these fun, fun goodies. If you need links to anything, be sure to drop a note in the description box below. I will be happy to provide that information. And yeah, I hope you have a great crafty weekend and I will catch you on the next one. See you later, crafty peeps. Bye.